All right, my friends. We find ourselves at the end of another year. And I can tell you up front, I am not going to be doing as much Guitar Hero stuff next year. Um, I've been a part of some pretty gigantic projects this year. It's been an absolute blast, but I gotta scale it back for next year. I really do, on for several reasons, personal reasons. My goal really is to give you guys a new volume of Marf GH about every six months, so you can expect Volume 1 to drop in June, and then the next one in December. I have a sort of mental roadmap of everything I want to do with this game, where I want to go with it, what songs I want to feature in later versions, and it's going to take me a couple years. So assuming you're all still around, and assuming that you're patient, uh, I hope to reward you quite handsomely with a bunch of new songs to play with my usual standard of stems and perhaps some customs for other games as well. I uh, eventually do want to get my charts in Clone Hero. At some point I want to do stuff with Rock Band. It's it's not really a priority, but everybody right now is, is off focused on Rock Band 2 Deluxe, which you should absolutely go and play. It's awesome. But anyway. I don't want to leave you without something new to ring in the new year, and there's something that I've been working on very diligently over the past year that I don't feel like a lot of people uh, know about, and that would be soundtrack rips. I've been toying with the idea of soundtrack rips ever since I was 14. In fact, I think it was the reason why I started digging in the files for Guitar Hero in the first place. As you know, Guitar Hero has all the lovely sound alike covers and what have you, and I wanted a copy of them, and I heard that Wave Group themselves were selling it for a while, and I couldn't find it, and I outright emailed Wave Group, and they said, yeah, we don't sell those anymore. So I was like, okay, I'll just rip them myself. And ever since then, I've been putting together these nice, sorted box sets for each of the games. They're all straight from the game audio. There's no Clone Hero rips involved. There's no recording the game audio at all. Uh, they're ripped from the files and mixed down. There's no transcoding or anything, so you're getting them in crystal clear quality. I have box sets for the first Guitar Hero, Guitar Hero 2, uh, the Guitar Hero 2 DLC, Guitar Hero 80s. I just finished one for the first Rock Band, Amplitude 2003, Frequency, which actually required a whole lot more assembly than it did mixing, because that game, if you don't know, all the audio is chopped up into samples, so that way you could remix the songs, and as a result, I had to put it all back together. Some mostly finished for Karaoke Revolution, the first two Karaoke Revolutions, which were where Harmonix started using covers in the first place, and I even have a cleanup project for all the covers in Rock Revolution, which I know how people tend to think of Rock Revolution as just being all terrible covers, but you'd be surprised if you listened through how surprisingly decent some of the covers really are. But aside from that, if you want them, they're available, like I said, on my website. I'll have a link in the description in FLAC or MP3. I hope you enjoy, you know, because these things take a lot of time. Um, it doesn't take me that long per song, but when you start putting it together, doing five a day, you there for like an hour and a half, uh, days on end, you do the math, how long that takes. So, and I actually had to redo a bunch of them. But anyway, have a happy new year, all of you, and uh, whatever I get up to, I will see you in 2022. I have a feeling that it's going to be an absolutely kick-ass year. That's about all.